So totally unrelated to this video, I've started playing Nier Automata for the second channel, and I've noticed that the soundtrack for that game is really, really, really good. It's quite nice, and the game so far is pretty damn fun, so uh, I'll have some of those videos out on the second channel, hopefully very soon. But until then, today is a P.O. Box opening once every two weeks nowadays, of course, and I've got plenty of packages, plenty of letters, and everything else to go through, of course, with the Loot Crate unboxing at the end, and without any further ado, let us begin. Also, I am using a new microphone now. I can't really tell if you can see yet. There's no pop filter on it quite yet, so you probably hear a lot of the pops that go ahead and go through this video. So once the pop filter comes in, which will be tomorrow, Tomorrow, that problem will hopefully be uh, no longer a thing, but it is new and it, apparently it's got like really good deep ends And of course because my my voice goes very deep you gotta like Accentuate what you got, you know flaunt what you got So, First letter. It's just a big Mimi letter of his devotion to Shirima his distaste in Zerath and the entire way you can build and play Azir in an exceptionally good manner as he is soared out of bronze with Azir, which I gotta give you a little bit of credit. Getting out of bronze with Azir is not something I hear about very often. And he gives me a whole build, a complete build on how to play Azir, even though I made a video about that. Let's see what we got here. We got nine marks of magic pen, nine seals of scaling hell, three glyphs of attack speed, six glyphs of scaling CR, and three quints of AP. Going into the frosty five one five one five one and cunning five one five one as well so i guess you're running death fire huh yeah i mean i guess this is okay personally i'd go with thunderlords over taking death fire because thunderlords on azir is absolutely crazy in lane because you can do the whole like soldier auto like q auto and then proc, uh, proc the thunderlords pretty easily and that makes it a lot better than death fire in my opinion because death fire is not meant for relentless attacks personally i do appreciate the leandria's recommendation because i think leandria is actually a really good item on him that no one ever builds and you say play like a bitch but that's dumb that's dumb Shirima Shuffle is all that ever matters. Just, just get in there and cause them some fucking problems. Thank you very much for the letter, though, and I wish you the best of luck. Azir got, kind of got the, uh, kind of got the shaft for a while, so if you're doing really well with him, then that's quite impressive, so best of luck to you, and thank you for the letter. Package one. Ooh, like a little goodie bag. There's a lot of stuff in here. This starts off with a shirt. What's this shirt? This definitely does not fit me, that's for certain. But it's a little xenomorph in a ribcage, which is actually... That's pretty scary, but at the same time, that's pretty cute in a kind of fucked up alien sort of way. Ooh, and then you got an Ellen Ripley. Oh, sweet. Another Funko for the collection. Ah, oh, Ellen Ripley from Aliens. So she's got all the whole getup with all the uh, with the pulse rifle and everything at the end of the movie. Man, this is, is this all alien stuff? Is this just a bunch of like cool ass alien things? Oh, shit. Well, and Yutani Corporation. Mmm, building better worlds. Oh, no, you're not. No, you are not. Ah, this is just a little piece of paper that has the invoice in there. Just saying what was bought. So, Whale and Yutani cup, or mug right here. Ooh. You gotta love Whale and Yutani in a sense of, like, they're the perfect, just, major assholes. Like, no one can like them. No one can. I mean, you can get their motives. They're understandable motives, but they're such dicks. And so you just, everyone can agree, like, yeah, Whale and Yutani kind of fucking sucks. And then combine with the shirt and the the cool ass pop fil figure, not filter. I need a pop filter. This is a pop figure, a Funko pop figure of Ellen Ripley. This is some cool ass alien stuff. You know, Alien Isolation did give me a little bit of PTSD, of course, but alien movies were always my favorite, which is why I even made the choice to play that game. Cause I'm like, I'm scared, but it's alien. I like alien. So thank you so much for all the alien, uh, alien shit. I don't know who sent it. Most one of the letters says you sent it, but there's no letters inside. So whoever you were, Appreciate it. Letter two. This is actually a pretty cute letter. They told me I had to read it out loud because I guess they're too shy or embarrassed to, which is understandably, but you know, I mean, at least I'm still reading the letter. The only one thing I do want to read is the whole Outlast 2 thing because it said the only videos that I dislike on your channel are Outlast 2 because I'm too fucking scared. And I, I feel you. I completely agree with you. Fuck Outlast 2. But thank you so much for the letter. Uh, I believe it is Carly. Yes, Carly. Thank you so much for the letter. I appreciate it. I know you don't want me to read it out loud, so I will not. But is still appreciated regardless. Ah, this is a, a letter from Whalen Yutani Corp. Okay, this is actually pretty cool. I gotta read this one. 
It has come to our attention that you've spent quite some time away from our beloved establishments. When your last trek through Sevastopol Station, you may have encountered some slight abnormalities. We assure you, all has been taken into consideration, and we will guarantee you next trip among us will meet all of your expectations. All Whale Newtani Corporation property has been verified in depth, and our reports show nothing abnormal within. Although Sevastopol Station is now destroyed, Whale Newtani Corporation has no intention to hold you legally liable for such an event. The station was a disuse and, very honestly, in a terrible state to begin with. Attached with this letter is a small token of an apology for any inconveniences you may have suffered during your stay on the station. Although we are certain there may have been embellishing in the reports you submitted for us to review, Whale and Yutani appreciates your input and opinion. We sincerely hope you'll visit us many more times in the future and look forward to seeing you again. Kind regards, Whale and Yutani Corporation, Board of Directors. Pretty funny. Unfortunately, the backside is filled with clocks. From the saltiest tofu. Thank you, the saltiest tofu. That was actually a pretty good letter when you think about it. That's exactly what William Yutani would have said. That is identical to what William Yutani would have wrote, uh, writ, wrote, writ, written, written on the a, a, a sorry letter. Yeah. Thank you. Larger box. Hey, Bricky, I hope you like the prop I made. It is from Foam Board. I tried to make it more accurate to the game. My painting skills are not that good. Whoa, I know this. Demonic gods, you son of a bitch. Holy goddamn shit. That is a, that, that, that is a saw cleaver. <sighs> Remove the two pins. Pull. Put the two pins back. Come on, you. What? That, that is, whoa, that is so cool. I now have my very own saw cleaver. Look at this thing. That is so neat. It's so light too. It's made of just like completely foam and everything. It's not like really heavier or any of that kind of stuff, but God damn, does this thing look so cool. Yo, that is awesome. I gotta find a place to hang this shit up. God damn. I gotta finally, uh, finally get my, my, uh, bloodborne inner feelings going. Ah, it doesn't matter. Thank you, demonic gods. This is absolutely crazy sick. Absolutely awesome. All right, we got one more letter. Greetings from Italy, yo. And then on the back, it's a picture of Syndra that says... I fucking hate you. If this is referring to like me playing Syndra, oh, oh, I, I feel you. Or if this is referring to the hatred of Syndra, I also feel you on that one. Actually, no matter what it may have been, because I mean, obviously it's in good intentions. Greetings from Italy, I fucking hate, I get it. I feel you. I totally feel you. Because Syndra is, whoo, whoo, she kind of sucks to fight, you know? I mean, it's probably why I like playing her so much because I'm such an asshole, but I feel you. I feel you. I don't know if there's anything else besides just this letter, but I feel you. And now the final package. Boy, let's see what we got here. All right, we've got a, uh, a USB iPhone 5 charger, I think. We have a large amount of Arrowhead eraser caps. We have a little uh, practice digital clock in order to help me tell time. It's getting real close to cyberbullying. Real close. Okay, this is... Red colored pencils. This is blue colored pencils. More blue colored pencils. Two black colored pencils. An entire box of regular pencils. Like... Like, there's, like a, there's probably like a good like 200 pencils in here. Th does... Does this explain... Is there an explanation in the box? Nope. Well, you know it's for me because it has the clock on it. And the clock, obviously, is something that I need. But... <sighs> One, two, three, 60 colored pencils and like 200 regular pencils and an iPhone 5 USB charger? Well, why? Is, th is there a pencil meme I'm not getting? I don't have to sharpen any pencils anymore i'm like i'm not like that guy in spongebob who brings out only one pencil and doesn't bring a sharpener or a second pencil in the middle of the ocean so okay 
Loot Crate. So with that out of the way, interesting little box there. We are doing a Loot Crate unboxing. Today is the Loot Gaming one for Suit Up theme. Now, of course, I am sponsored by Loot Crate. I run with them in a commission-based system. So any of you who sign up for stuff, you're actually legitimately, leg like straight up, Financially supporting me, which is awesome, of course, because everyone likes a little bit of a extra pocket change because I drink coffee every morning and it actually costs a lot of money sometimes when you go out for coffee every single morning. You know, that really like adds up. Like if coffee's like five bucks and you go like once every single day, like in a month, like five times 30, that's like $150 in just coffee. That's like not even food. Like that, that's, a, that's a lot of money. When you really like add up food, like fucking food costs a lot of money. I would cook for myself, but... um. I, I burn grilled cheese. So, yeah, today's loot gaming. We're gonna open the box. So for starters, we got some South Park shit. South Park Kun and Friends Flag. Backing up, Kun and Friends Flag. This big old, like, obviously it's got a little bit of a couple ring holes up here. But uh, when, it, when it comes to something so goddamn cheeky, so tongue and cheek, one might say. So, so Kun and Friends. You got a Kun and Friends flag in this loot crate. But then, of course, it does not stop there. It never stops there. Then, how can you suit up in anything without a little bit of Overwatch stuff? So, of course, you have an Overwatch figurine of a Titanium Phara. This cute... Can I put you close enough so that... There you go. This cute-ass little figurine comes in here. Of course, got the little line on the back. I will protect the innocent, cute, but deadly little... Oh, hi, that's me again. Hi. No, no, no. I want you to be on Phara. Come on. There you go. That you got... Nope. Don't look at me. There you go. Don't look at me. There you go. There you go. See? Cute ass fair figurine right here, of course. I don't really want to take it out of the box because it actually looks really well done. I don't know if that's me like a collector thing, so I'm gonna just gonna put you right over there. And then after that, you have the Halo screenshot. I guess we'll probably call it a screenshot thing. One of the Halo little um connector pieces that you had in the Halo crates. So in a sense, it's actually not a Halo crate, this is a gaming crate, but has the same Halo figurines from the Halo crate. And the coolest thing about these ones is this is actually the last piece. I can finally formulate the entire circle of Halo figures with this final piece of the Halo diorama. And there you are, the two figures side by side in this little diorama. This actually finishes up that last piece with everyone else with the Arbiter, Atriox, Sheaf, some other Red vs. Blue Spartans, Buck, all of them coming together to finally finish up the little circular diorama of Halo figures. And so I usually like put that in this one instead of another Halo one. Maybe they'll just add, like, you can, like, replace them and put them back and forth as time goes on. But that is, of course, the Halo part of the suit up. And then it does not stop there. Of course, you've got to get that shirt. And this time shirt is actually Injustice 2, which I've heard is actually a pretty solid game, which is quite good. So Injustice 2 shirt right here, of course. You've got Super is that Superman in the back? That's Superman in the back, I believe. Harley Quinn and Batman all together for Injustice 2. Pretty cool shirt, of course, the very soft cotton that they always have in their shirts. And without further ado, you do have the final piece, which is the pin, which I'm starting to get a pretty goddamn large collection of. And the pin here is, ba-boom, little suit-up pin right there. Little, uh, kind of like a Spartan-ish helmet, Doom-ish looking helmet. To go along with all the other pins that kind of like, that I've, I've started to accumulate a lot of them. I need to find like a like a bulletin board or something to put them all on. Some kind of hat or, or jacket or something. So anyway, that is the Loot Gaming one. Real quick, real fast, suit up themed. If you liked what you saw, go ahead and use lootcrate.com slash bricky and promo code bricky for 10% off your purchase. Thank you so much. Of course, like I said before, supports me just as much as it supports them. Been with them for actually a long time now. Like I think I, was, I started the sponsorship in like August of last year. So it's been like, God, what's, what's May? So like 10 months, nine months, something on those lines. I don't, I don't do math, but it's been a long time. So that's been a long time of Loot Crate. So uh, that's why it's a meme on the channel. So thank you so much for watching this PO Box unboxing to all of you who sent something. Thank you so much. Your generosity has never, ever gone to waste. It's extremely nice of you. And if anyone wants to send anything, totally optional. I'll put the address on the screen. It's also in the description of all of my main videos. Besides that, I don't really have much anything else I got to say. Thank you so much. And I'll see you next two weeks for everything else. Bye-bye.